apparently this is the most scariest temple in the whole of Myanmar and uh, you can't wear no shoes so I don't know if you guys can see but I have no feet I have no shoes on my feet it is mandatory apparently it is mandatory to wear no shoes in this temple just to show a sign of respect it's not too many tourists around here but it's 32 degrees and it's very 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 hot so we're gonna we're gonna walk around apparently this is the biggest shrine uh, temple or Buddhist temple if you want to call it in the whole of Myanmar so we're gonna look further down and we're gonna discover we're gonna see what we can discover around this temple and there's so many mini like pilgrimages around here so I'm just gonna walk around I'm gonna show you guys what it's like it's very 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 hot I didn't know that it's gonna be so hot in Myanmar but it's okay so I'm gonna show you what I can see so there's a lady sleeping with a child I'm not gonna be rude but it is this place is just amazing everything that you can see here is just gold the architect is amazing I think this is the main one of the main shrines that you can see over here so as you guys know Myanmar they have a political war or like a civil war that they're having in the west part of the country in Bangladesh there's certain areas that you can't go to in Myanmar because of the religious ethnic cleansing that's happening between the Buddhists and the Muslims I tried to go um, I tried to book a tour to go there to see if I can capture some some footage in a in a very ancient city called Maruk but apparently I'm not allowed the government are restricting tourists and local people to go there but anyway let's just see what's around here it is hot I'm gonna show you guys this big big tall tall gold building I wanna see I wanna show you guys and see if you guys can see it so it's right over there and there is this big temple over here this big golden thing and it is just massive so you pay 10,000 Vietnamese cat it is like £5.22 in American dollars we're going to discover this. This place is humongous. It's massive. It's gold. Everywhere you see is just gold, 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 gold. And the gold is just shining and it glisses on you. You have people praying over here. On my left hand side, I'm not really going to show you that because I don't want to be disrespectful to the people around here. Good. Southeast Asia is very, 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 very interesting because um, they don't see that many black people around here. And everyone looks at you. They're thinking, what's, what's this black guy doing talking to a camera? Hello, you okay? And it's, uh, it's cool, it's interesting. People just stare at you. So, uh, yeah. The writing is very, very odd in Myanmar. It's like scribble, 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 scribble. I'm gonna show you how many scribbles we can we can find over here. So that's scribble, scribble one. I have no idea what this says. It's very hard. But the good thing about Myanmar is when you're walking around, some of the street signs have the scribble, 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 and then the other street signs have the English writing. So look out. Check out my outfit, I've got, got my long trousers on. You alright? Oh look, just got stopped by a bunch of locals. Never seen black people before. That's a, that's a big thing in Myanmar. Are oh, you alright? Let's so walk around here and see. You wanna say hello? Hello, my friend. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Latin. Hey, my name's Amir. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Michael, Michael Jackson. Mike, Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, I like I like Michael Jackson. You're Michael Jackson. Yeah. All right. Cool. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Nairo. Nairo, nice yes. to meet you. Okay, yeah. I'm just I'm, I'm just making a video on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, YouTuber. Yeah, YouTuber. Just make video about about your beautiful city. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's cool, man. It's cool. It's uh, you have a lot of gold. Uh, yeah. 
So this, so tell me about this temple. This temple is very famous. <laughs> oh, you're camera shy. Anyway, right guys, I'm here with a couple of local people here. Yeah. I speak sign English. You speak what? Uh, sign English. I speak sign English. Sign language. <laughs> All right, right, cool, no problem. Okay. Right, take care, brother. <laughs> take care. Yeah, cool, like, take care. Uh, London. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, not too many black people around here, no? <coughs> yeah, anyway, I'm gonna walk around. Thank you guys. Take care, man. Cheers. <laughs> These guys are very funny. They're very, very, very funny. They've never seen um probably never seen a black guy. They just stop me randomly. Wanna, people around here, they're cool, they seem alright. People are very friendly. But everyone looks at you, they give you the stares. It's not like Vietnam where people look at you like you're an alien. In Vietnam, like when they see that you're you're not Vietnamese, they look at you like you're like you're alien. Or like you're not from this area. Like what is he doing here? But just look at this guy, let's capture this. That's what it looks like. All around here. So one interesting fact they say. Over here, the day that you was born, you can actually pray and you can purify yourself. So I was born in May 993, May the 27th. And the tour guide, I didn't film it, but off behind camera, he said that. So this is the Thursday corner. Around this temple, they have different corners of the day. I mean, different corners of, of the week of the day. And the people over here, I, I didn't really capture it, but I'm going to show you later. They get the cup of water from here and they pour it on on this religious shrine over here. It's like a prayer and it, and it brings you good luck apparently. So this is this is very very interesting in the in the Buddhist religion. And the guy said to me that I was born on Thursday and maybe I should participate in this, but I have no idea in what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna be looking like a lost black man holding my Holding, holding my camera, pouring water into myself. So uh, it's it's very interesting this religion and the way it works. And you need to do, you need to donate some money into the box first. Then after you start to pray. So as you can see, this guy is donating some money over here. And then they start to pray. So you can see it. Hopefully, I'm going to capture it on camera. So these people were born on Thursday. And then they pour the water. Very, very interesting. So this is very cool in the in the culture. Buddhism is the biggest. Buddhism is the biggest religion in Myanmar. They have the biggest uh, Buddhist population, I think, in Myanmar. Hi, you right? You want to say hello? Sorry? What's your name? Oh, Chote. Oh, Chote? Yes. They call me Black Man. What? You, What's your black name? Man. Black Man. No, no, no. Where, where you come from? I come from London. London? Yeah. Oh. Where are you from? Myanmar. 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 Hello. Do you know Nibido? Nah, I don't know Nibido. Oh. City. Myanmar City. City, nah. I've just been here. I've just been here for. Um, Two days, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna discover your country. You, you know uh, our country is Myanmar. Yes, country. sir. Yes, Myanmar sir. country city is Nepito. Nepito. Yeah. That's in the north, no? Sorry. Where's that? Wait. Number one. Number one. Number one. City is Nepito. Nepito. Uh, nice to meet you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Man. Take care. Thank what? You. you are native. Pardon? My native. Native. Originally from East Africa. 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 You get my mom, Uganda. No, you stay. Oh, in London. I live in London. We are engineer. You are my engineer. Me, my engineer. Okay. What are you doing now? I'm just blogging. I make videos on YouTube. Blogging. Yeah. Look, this is the camera. You know. Say hello. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye, -bye. bye bye. Take bye -bye. care. Bye -bye. Yeah. Take care, man. Me, your name? Amir. 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 Yes, sir. What's your religion? Muslim. Muslim. Yes, sir. Don't worry about your mom. Yeah, no, nah, it's okay. I don't really care. I'm just blogging. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna get to know your culture. I want to get to know your religion, the people. So I'm just here just to connect and oh, show how people. How long have you been here? Two days, but I'm gonna stay for three weeks. Three weeks. Yes, sir. And then after, where will you? And uh, then I don't know. I'm gonna get lost. Maybe I go back to Bangkok. I have no idea. 
low? Are you low? Pardon? Only one, only one. Only one? You come from? Yes, by myself, yes. Only one. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Amen. 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 Take Amen. care. <laughs> yeah, man. Amen. Take care, man. Peace. Yeah, okay. Amen. You black man. <laughs> Whoa. Never seen a black man before. One of the benefits you get in Asia, people stop you as soon as you're black and they want to know who you are. That's cool, man. It's so hot. It's so, so, so hot. You guys don't understand. 32 degrees is no joke. I need to look for some water and I'm going to look for some food. But anyway, guys, as I was saying, so the people here, on the day that you was born, they have different corners. So this one over here, Saturday. I don't know if you can see, but that's Saturday's corner over there. And uh, depending on the day that you was born, on the year, people they come here, they they donate money in in a particular box. And then as soon as they do donate money, they pour they pour water on the religious pilgrimage. It's just a sign of respect and it's a sign of prayer. And I think they're praying for like good luck and good energy. So it's very, very, it's very interesting. So, um, yeah, very, very interesting. I, I never knew much about Buddhist religion, but I'm discovering a lot about this religion. And also I'm discovering a lot about this country. The further, the further I start to walk, the more I start to discover and understand how important Buddhism is, a, is important to the people around here and how it's important to the people around the world. So, um... Uh